Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm checking out the Ishin VR008 FPV goggles. Now these are a budget FPV goggle and at the moment I think they're about £31. They usually retail at about £39. So if you are wanting a set of very cheap goggles then I'll put a link in the description. But first of all I am going to review these goggles because usually when you pay cheap prices you don't get a lot for your money. So what do we have here? Well, on face value it actually looks pretty good. We have got a massive nose slot. That is the first thing that I look when I am buying these goggles because a lot of them crush your nose and actually this one is a little bit too big. I would rather it be too big though than too small and you can stick some foam in there because you get some light coming into the goggle. So we've got a Fresnel lens up here. It's a four inch screen. Now the biggest problem with this is the Fresnel lens. It is really too close to the monitor and I find that when I turn it on, which I will do in a bit, I feel like I'm too close to the screen and it's straining my eyes a little bit. But it is going to work if you are wanting to get into FPV, but that was my biggest downside to these. You also don't get given a battery out of the box. However, Banggood does sell a battery for it and it's very cheap, which is why I have got this adapter connected into the port there. So you are given this adapter. It's a DC type adapter and that plugs in there and you've got a JST connector on the other side there. So I'm going to plug in this two cell battery. It takes two cell and three cell. And this is a 1200 milliamp battery. So probably looking at maybe four hours, something like that. So I've turned it on and straight away it's showing a blue screen and that's because I've got the source set to AV in. So there is an AV in on there. Actually, it's just a video in. So you don't have to use the built-in 40 channel receiver that this comes with. You can plug in your own video source if you want to, but if we press this button up here, that should be the source. So if I press that, you can see there we've now gone to snow, and that is what we are dealing with. So it's quite a nice big image, it's pretty clear, and it looks clear from where I am standing, but if I move it really close into myself, it does become really straining on my eyes. So yeah, biggest downfall on this. But they're really cheap, and if you're wanting to get into FPV, then they're going to work. They're going to work. So what else have we got here? So you'll notice that we've got what looks like diversity antennas. However, if you read the small print, they actually aren't diversity. So I think they are just for two normal antennas, and they just both work at the same time. I don't think it chooses the strongest one to get a better picture. So these are RPSMA, not SMA, so it's not compatible with the immersion stuff, but you know, you can buy RPSMA and SMA cloverleaf antennas, but I'm not sure that that's going to benefit you having different antennas on here. You're going to want the same antennas like this. So let's have a look what all of the other buttons do here. So I'm going to press this one first and let's see what it does. So that's auto searching all the channels up and down there and so let's see I think this is the menu button if you long press it down so yeah we've got the menu there so we've got brightness contrast color and sharpness and we've got the language as well so there's no option to change this into 4x3 which would have been nice because the majority of FPV cameras are 4x3 but I tend not to bother with that too much these days so if you long press that button then this is gonna change your values there so up and down for changing your values and a menu press again takes you down the menu so pretty simple settings there. So I have plugged an FPV camera into this to see if there's any audio and it seems like there is not. 
So this, although it looks like a speaker, is actually just letting heat out because I can't see any audio options at all. But you can see there, the picture's pretty good. It's just for me, it's a bit straining on the eyes and you can't move that Fresnel lens. Now I am short-sighted and I'm sure the amount of strain on the eyes will be different for everyone. But this is just my personal opinion of these. And you can't wear glasses with these. The opening is too short, but if you are short-sighted, you don't need to. It's only the fat shark goggles that you will get blur with. So that's not too bad. So yeah, it's a pretty decent goggle. I mean, it is super cheap. And if you are after something a bit better where you can change the length of the Fresnel lens, how far away it is from the monitor, then I would go with, say, something like the Quantum goggles. And I found that the Kylene goggles, although they don't have the slider on, the focus is much better than these ones. So I have to say, once I started flying with these goggles, I didn't have any strain on my eyes at all. So I'm gonna have to recommend these FPV goggles to newcomers to the hobby because I was having a lot of fun with them, you know. The biggest test that I can do with these goggles is to get my ZMR250 flying and that's exactly what I did. And I had great reception off it, I had a great picture, even with those stock antennas there. So yeah, in the end I do think this goggle is a good buy, however there are better ones out there. So if you can afford to pay more then I would because you'll save yourself money in the end anyway because this hobby is so addictive and you'll end up with some really expensive ones anyway. So there you go, that is my review of the Ishin VR008. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave you with some flying footage. So as always, please continue to subscribe. Cheers.